years after the world's first spacecraft, Luna 9 by Russia, first landed on the moon, it is now time for India. The countdown has begun. Just a few hours from now, the Indian Space Research Organization will conduct one of its most challenging space endeavors, a successful soft landing on the moon. Only three countries in the world have achieved that feat so far. The Soviet Union, now Russia, the United States of America and China. Other countries, including India, which attempted the feat, could not succeed. Japan and Israel included. In 2019, when ISRO last went to the moon, the entire mission goal went as planned. But the landing could not be achieved because the lander crashed on the lunar surface when it was just two kilometers from the surface. This time, however, ISRO is confident. ISRO chairman Mr. S. Somnath said, no matter what comes, the lander will successfully land on the moon. So what has changed? Over the last four years, ISRO has conducted series of tests and sensor testing to ensure that everything goes as planned. The hardware of the lander has been strengthened. The four legs of the lander has been strengthened. More sensors have been added. To add to it, the landing site on the south pole of the region has also been expanded so that the spacecraft can hover over the lunar surface before it attempts a touchdown. Over the next few hours, ISRO is going to monitor the health of the spacecraft to ensure that every condition is as expected. Just two hours before the planned touchdown, ISRO scientists are going to hold another meeting to ensure that all the conditions are as per the plan. Only then they'll go give a go-ahead to the power descent, which is set to begin at about 5.45 p.m. in the evening. It's going to be a 15-minute exercise, and if everything goes as planned, by 6 p.m., India would successfully land on the moon. Everything is going as per the plan as of now, but there is a bit of a non-zero possibility that something could go wrong. While uh, Chandrayaan 3 carries the hopes and dreams of billions of Indians and everybody is hoping that India will achieve the feat this time. But there is going to be a lot of challenges in the way. Stay tuned to CNN News 18 as we bring to you all the important updates from the ISRO headquarters in Bengaluru.